Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. This is DJ. As you may know by now, Amazon has released two new Fire TV sticks to their lineup of Fire TV models, the Fire TV Stick Lite and the Fire TV Stick 3rd Gen, which both support expanding their internal storage through the use of an external USB drive. And by doing so, it will allow you to move supported apps onto the external drive to free up space on the internal storage space. Now the Fire TV Stick 4K, which does support external USB devices to some extent, it does not currently support moving apps to external storage unless you use ADB Shell, which requires a lot more steps. Today in this video, I will be using the 2020 Fire TV Stick 3rd Gen, but this will work the same for the Fire TV Stick Lite also. So let's get right to it. Now in order to add external storage to your Fire TV stick, you will need the following items. First, you need an OTG cable, which is this right over here. All it is, it's a Y cable that includes a power cable. And then when the other end, this is where you kind of connect your power cable from your Fire TV stick. And this end connects to your Fire TV stick. In the middle, it gives you a USB port, which you will connect your USB drive, or you can also connect a USB hub on there. You want to attach other devices like a keyboard or game controller. And then we're going to need a USB drive. Now, even though the Fire Stick, the USB port that the Fire Stick has, it's a 2.0, it is recommended that you use a USB drive capable of 3.0 or 3.1 speeds. This is because the USB 3.0 or 3.1 drives tend to perform better than a USB 2.0 drive. And even though it's going to be connected to a 2.0 drive, it will still perform better. If you connect a poorly performing USB drive to your Fire TV, it will result in very low, very slow load times uh, for apps and any other content like videos that you may have loaded on there. So it was recommended to use a better drive. Now the way this works is you're just going to plug in one end to the Fire TV stick. And this part is where your power from your Fire TV gets connected. You can just connect it like that. And that's it. Now, of course, the thumb drive will be plugged in like this. And this is your connection. Now, we're going to disconnect that for now. Now, before we connect this to our Fire TV stick and prepare it, first we need to plug this into our TV, power it up. And once we get to the home screen, then we can connect this. We don't want to have this plugged in before, so leave this on the side, and then we'll continue once this is plugged into my TV. All right. Now that our Fire TV is powered on and it's at the home screen, we're going to go ahead and connect the USB drive to the OTG cable. So let's do that. Now, it depends on how your USB drive is formatted, what kind of file system it's using. If it's not formatted with the FAT32 file system, this is the screen you're gonna see. If it was formatted with the FAT32 file system, you will not get this message. I'm gonna show you what you have to do after. All right, now over here you got three choices. Do, the first one is do nothing. You can do device storage, or you can do external storage. Now we want to do it as a device storage. That way we can install apps onto the drive and we're going to keep in mind that not every single app will be able to move to the the usb thumb drive or you can leave it as external storage if you want to transfer files to it um be able to move it to another computer after if you want it once it's done as device storage you cannot use it on any other device until you format it again so right now we're going to go ahead and select device storage and it's going to take a few minutes. I'm going to select yes here. Depends on the size of your thumb drive. It can take anywhere between a minute to two or three. So I'm just going to go and for fast forward this video instead of having you guys wait for that. I'll be right back. All right, so we're done. I'm going to click OK. And now from here, we're going to go to our settings. Scroll down. Go to My Fire TV. Go down to USB drive. 
as you can see here, you have other, you can eject a USB drive, but it doesn't format it. You can format it to external storage, so that will erase anything that you have on there from the Fire TV stick. So make sure you move any apps that you had on there, otherwise they will be erased. And over here, if you have any apps installed onto this drive after you formatted it, you can manage the install applications from there. Click on here. You don't have anything because we haven't moved anything or installed anything. So let's go back. All right. Now, if you had this device already formatted uh, with a FAT32 file system, so we'll do this first. I'm going to format it as a USB drive, external. All right. Let's inject it. All right. All right. So now we disconnected it. I'll go back to the home page. Now, if we're pretending that this was already formatted as FAT32, and this is the first time you're going to connect it to your Fire Stick, I'm going to connect it right now. You may get a quick pop up on the bottom, limited device access. So you can press the three line button if you want it, or if it went away before you saw it, go back. Then all you have to do is go to your settings, go over My Fire TV, go down to USB drive, and format to internal storage. Now, of course, we have to do this all over again, but I'm going to just skip through this. All right, so it's already done again. Okay. And there it is, the same thing. Now, if we go over to our manager applications, the one thing you got to keep in mind here, not every single app will be able to move to the USB thumb drive. All the system apps will not be able to use, to be able to move them. Now, some of them, even though they're siloed, like this one, it doesn't give you that option if it's already installed. But if I uninstall this one, go back, go back to our home page, use Downloader. All right, so if I go ahead and download this now. Install it. Done. Make sure you delete installation files after you're done. Even though you have the additional storage now, I would still recommend deleting the installation files. There's no need to keep them. So if we go back to our home page, let's scroll over to settings. We go applications. All right, let's go down to manage install applications. And as you can see, now it's got a little USB icon next to it that letting you know that this is installed on the external drive. So if you click on it, you do have the option to move it back to the internal storage. And one of the reasons you may want to do that, not for this specific app, but for certain apps that you sideload, they will not run correctly if they're on the external storage. So you got to keep that in mind too. Not everything is meant to be move to external storage. They run better when they're in internal storage. So if you're noticing some issues with um, certain apps like uh, Smarter's app or TV Mate, you may want to move it to the internal storage. And if you're using TV Mate to pop and record certain shows, then you can point it to the external drive. But besides that, the actual program should be installed on the internal storage. Now, if we go find some other apps in here, like this one was siloed prior of the installation of the thumb drive, but this will give me the option to move it to USB storage. So I can just click on it, give it a second. That's it, it moved over. Now, this also works with apps that you get from the App Store. So, for example, Sling TV, if I click on it, it does give me the option to move it to USB storage. So you can just click on that. That's it. 
that's moved there too. So it does come in handy. It does work with apps that you sideload and also apps that you get from the app store. But like I said, it's not for every single one. All right. Well, that should do it for today. If you guys have any questions, please leave it in the comment section below. And I will try to answer everybody's question as soon as possible. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. It does let YouTube know you like what I do here. And it does help my channel grow. Also, make sure, make sure you click on subscribe and the little bell icon to get notified of any new video that I upload. Thanks for watching. This is DJ. Till next time.